Hey guys, back with John. Hello. I have six new chapsticks that I thought we could do another chapstick challenge. I know some of you guys like when we do this kind of thing. So, I will start off with an easy one, so close your eyes quickly. Okay. And he's gonna act silly while his eyes are closed. <laughs> of course I can. They definitely smell like what they are. Yeah. Just don't put too heavy of a layer on or it'll be hard to get it off and you have to switch to the other one. Yeah. That's definitely cotton candy. Yep. <laughs> that was an easy one. <laughs> yeah, that, that one is kind of loud. A little bit. Well, I I taste it first, and then as soon as I tasted it, the smell hit me, and I was like, oh, yeah, that's 100% cotton candy. Yeah. Okay. And next round. Mm -hmm. Looks really nice. Yep. Wait. <laughs> this one might be a little hard. <laughs> I can only guess because we have two that are pretty much similar. <laughs> yeah, we do. We have two that are similar. We probably should have gone through the list and said which ones we had first. Oh well, I just figured it'd be easier to show we first because we did that in the first one. Yeah. Because that was when we got some from Walmart. Yeah, we got that weird pack. It tastes like what it is. I know, that's the problem, is it still tastes like cotton candy to me. Oh. <laughs> uh, I don't know, isn't that that lemonade one? Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know, because it's really hard to place out. Do you want to smell it? Yeah, I can't place that one. Come here. Oh. I completely forgot that, that was the one. Like, she told me beforehand just so I could have a, a mental list, and I've completely blanked on it. Yeah, this one was kind of hard. Three fourths of them. <laughs> yeah, that one actually like, kissed my lips a little bit. Oh. <laughs> that was kind of funny. Go ahead and try to clean slate. Yeah. Just try and prevent mix. Yeah, I was trying not to do it that time, but. <laughs> Well, I think it was just because because it was all the a sugary one. Yeah. It was easy to or it was easy to mix them up. Okay. Putting on next one. Okay. This was white. Ooh. Oh boy. Oh boy. All right, Mickey Mouse. <laughs> Look how the dog barks in that battle. Bark, bark. Okay. Bark, bark, bark. Is that a lemonade one? Mm -hmm. Damn it! I don't have any lemonade ones. I don't know. It's hard because that cotton candy one is so strong; it makes it really hard to tell. Just hold it, see, smell it. That is that one the vanilla buttercream? Or no, the birthday cake. There you go. There we go. I like the little picture that's on it too. Yes. Yeah, the little smiley faces. There's like a bunch of stars sitting on the cake. Oh, there was one though that had a smiley face on it. Yes, this one. Oh, yeah. Sure. <laughs> Excuse me. We both had popcorn at the movies. And I had a uh, vanilla Coke with vanilla. Coke Zero vanilla. Coke Zero with vanilla, yeah. Which I wish I could find that in bottles and cans. They had it here. I'm surprised, because they don't have them at a lot of, like, pretty much every other place I go to. I'll have to remember that next time we do the thing where I stay here for a week. Because it'll probably be better for me than the regular coat. Yeah. Okay. Next one. And I'm sure I was talking while I was completely off camera, because I thought you were doing it while I was looking live. No. <laughs> it's fine. My bad. It's another white one. Sorry, folks. He's in Mickey Mouse mode. No, I've been playing Fallout, and they have a, a expansion, Fallout 4, and they have an expansion where you go to a, a theme park based on that, that world.
world's version of Coca Cola. Oh, I get you. And one of the one of the mascots, his name is Cappy, and he's literally a bottle cap, and he talks like he basically talks like Mickey Mouse. Mm. Okay. Which I can get as much of that off so I can. This one's gonna be a hard one, I feel. I keep going off camera, my bad. Um, I mean, I'm guessing that's because I can't hardly tell. I'm guessing it's probably the the other cake one, the cupcake one. Mm -hmm. Is it the van the vanilla buttercream? No, that was the cereal milk. Oh, that explains why it's hard to tell because it has a spiky face in the milk. Yeah, when you when you say cereal milk, it's one of those things that's really hard to place because it's kind of yeah. That's why it was another white one. Yeah, like if it was a particular brand of cereal and then milk, I probably would have been able to figure yeah. it out. But if it was just like sugar, sugar and wheat stuff, yeah. There we go. Alrighty. This one definitely smells like what it is. This one's purple. Hmm. They're all really creamy, surprisingly. Yeah. Considering they were five dollars a dollar general for the pack. Well, it's better than them being plasticky, which I've I've had one before that basically just feel like you're rubbing your lip with a piece of hard plastic. Yeah. Which sucks. Yeah, those are fun. Okay. Hmm. This was kind of strong to me. Not to let me smell it, because I still taste <laughs> I still taste cotton candy. Cotton candy is really strong for you. Is that the buttercream? No, that's the cupcake one, isn't it? Yep. Okay. Well, it had to be one of the two because there was there's only a couple left. Oh goodness! Alrighty, last round. Is I get this off? <laughs> yeah. Actually, I had four of these at one point, but I needed one up. Oh. <laughs> I really hope that they made it a tick to keep the lush. I'm I'm 100% certain they did. It's too too big of a thing for them to not. Yeah. I think they I think there's certain didn't you show me that uh Build a Bear Online has a Detective Pikachu that you yeah, can it's get. Yeah, Snubble and Psyduck. No, I thought Pikachu was in the center though. It was, but it was advertising the movie. Hmm. That's kind of a letdown. You may be able to dress up a Pikachu. Probably. I think they probably have a little detective hat they get to pay extra for. Yeah. That one just doesn't taste like anything. I'm guessing that one's a vanilla buttercream. Yeah. Because that's the only only one we have left. Yeah, I can't hardly smell that one. That's weird. It is pretty faint, you know. So the only one that was really... The only ones that were really difficult were the gummy bear and the cereal milk, but those are kind of off the wall anyway. Well, the only ones that were really difficult were the ones that came after cotton candy. Yeah, I probably should have done that one last. That, well, we didn't know how strong it was, but... Boy, howdy. That is all I was able to taste from the rest of them. <laughs> they must all have that same base in it or something. Yeah. Well. Yeah. So I guess the only one that I was able, only ones that I was able to guess was the, the birthday, birthday cake, cake, birthday cotton, cake, and cotton candy, too. and the cupcake. Yeah, that one too. Yeah. I only got. I don't really count the last one because that was the only one left. <laughs> yeah. So these three. Yeah. But these are all pretty creamy. <laughs> well, fifty percent isn't bad. Cotton candy was stronger than I thought. Yeah. But overall, it was a good round. Yep. Hopefully you guys enjoyed another Chapstick Challenge video. Let me know down below. Maybe some unique scented lip balms that are near your area. Because I'm curious to know. Because I know some places have really weird ones. Yeah. Now, if you can... I wonder if Bat 19 has ones that are like good that aren't weird. Because yeah. Bat 19 is known for having some super weird stuff. Like the 15 foot gummy worm or the uh, gummy brain. 
Yeah. Or that cat candle that once the, the wax melts, it has like a metallic, uh, like sort of almost Terminator cat skeleton underneath. Wow. None of that existed. Yeah. Oh, you need to, you need to check the Vat 19 website. It's got some wacky stuff. Sounds like it. But, hopefully again you all enjoyed, and I will talk to you guys soon in another video at another time. Bye, Roses. Yeah.